First ransom of Draft Utopia today, breaking down Mason Rudolph versus Oklahoma. First play here, Mason Rudolph. Just horrible accuracy by Mason Rudolph there on that throw. Pass interference penalty by Oklahoma gives Oklahoma State free yards, though. So on this play here, Mason Rudolph hikes the ball, and Cochran and Crabtree, the offensive tackles, Cochran gets beat here. Mason Rudolph really doesn't have a lot of time to throw, and he whiffs this dog turd. Yeah, that last pass was like the pass he threw to Trey Quinn at the NFL Combine, where he just underthrew Trey Quinn. And here, Mason Rudolph, he's going to hike it, and you're going to watch the feet. You're going to watch the progression here, and Cochran's going to give up another block, but Mason Rudolph is just horrible throw into coverage by Mason Rudolph. First down and 10 at the 25. Rudolph to the sideline. Oof. So, here you're breaking, you're breaking down Mason Rudolph. He sees the coverage, he sees the formations, sees different things, and Mason Rudolph off to a very rough start versus Oklahoma. And... Just the decision making here. He's going to try to sell the play action. And he does get a little bit better protection, even though Cochran does get beat again here, the left tackle. And Mason Rudolph, he's going to tap the football, then he's going to throw it. And this play overthrew it, just barely overthrew it, but he did overthrow it. Horrible throw by Mason Rudolph here. Another poor decision. Mason Rudolph here, he's audibling, he's signaling a play to his teammate, two, number two on Oklahoma State. And looking at this play, this was probably Mason's one beautiful throw. And this was a play where Mason Rudolph, this was probably his only good throw. of the game when he's on he's on and i get that mason is a powerful arm he has a great arm but his accuracy is off on a lot of throws on a lot of plays but this is a play where his accuracy was on and everything to get came together nicely here and cochran just keeps the, allowing these plays and pass pro but boom that's one play where mason rudolph keeps completion So here, Rudolph, and he's going to throw, pump fake. What was that? Ugh. I've revealed a gagging reflex four times already in this Mason Rudolph film session. And just great job by Jordan Thomas, seven on Oklahoma State here. Pressing. I know Ryan's going to bitch how that's a, that should have been penalized, and it is penalized. Pass interference. Don't celebrate an incompletion, Mason. Don't celebrate. You can celebrate when you score a touchdown, but you didn't earn those yards. I mean, that was a penalty, and Oklahoma stuffing you on that play. Mason Rudolph here in the huddle. This was just a great high point. The trajectory was off on that throw, but just a great high point by 13 as he bails Mason Rudolph out here. Marcel Aitman with the touchdown. Great job by Aitman bailing out Mason Rudolph, number three. Mason Rudolph here with a nice throw. The clapping, good screen pass. Mason, great job by James Washington to bail Mason Rudolph out here. He gets separation, just does a great job on this streak route, and he bails Mason out. Mason. Rudolph had that n nice screen pass on that last play, 
And here it's a second and eight situation, and you can see the footwork, and he winds up, throws it deep, incomplete. And this was about the sixth throw where you've seen the trajectory off of Mason Rudolph. Great pressure by Oklahoma. Even better catch. Mason Rudolph here. Going to audible. Going to clap. And you can tell his line is collapsing on this play. He doesn't really have a lot of time to make a throw. And you wish he would have pointed his feet in a different direction. Just th number 13 with a drop there. Mason did underthrow that, but that's more on the receiver than Mason Rudolph himself. So, you look at Mason Rudolph trying to adjust here on this play. And pump fakes, tapping the football. You see a lot of tapping the football here. And he's adjusting his feet, knowing he's got to keep them in the right direction. Oklahoma pressures Mason, and he throws it away. Awful trajectory again. Mason Rudolph, nice completion there. So Mason Rudolph here, it's a first and goal situation here for Rudolph. And Rudolph has a strange wind-up leg in the air. Incomplete pass, though. Fourth and goal here. Mason Rudolph's going to get another chance to punch it in. And hikes the ball. Play action here. Rudolph. What a catch by his receiver there, Marcel Aitman, who does it again. And Marcel Aitman, just a phenomenal job beating Jordan Thomas one-on-one -on -one in the red zone. And this is the second time Aitman did this in this game. Great job. And Marcel Aitman, there's a reason I have him ahead of James Washington in my mock draft. Just size and his ability to high point the football in the red zone is a thing of beauty to watch. But here you've got Mason Rudolph. And he doesn't make those good throws. Even when he's thrown touchdowns in this game, the trajectory is off or the footwork is off or something just doesn't add up. And it's like you see it on every single play. Here he overthrows the ball. Rudolph here, and it's just, that was a nice throw by Mason Rudolph. I'll give him credit there. That was a nice throw, kept his cool under pressure. Good job, Mason. And here we've got the next play, which is a completion as well. Mason Rudolph, he's in the pocket here, and Mason Rudolph just getting his feet warmed up. Nice throw there. This was just a great catch by James Washington. This, I thought the, the spiral was a little bit off, but James Washington is in the right place at the right time. The delivery looked a little bit goofy, but Washington in the right place at the right time, getting the necessary separation and really bailing Mason Rudolph out. So, awesome job by Washington. When you notice other quarterbacks throwing touchdowns, you notice they are putting their receivers in a position to succeed. With Mason Rudolph, the receivers are bailing him out. And that's the big thing with me. Arnold putting USC in position to succeed. Rosen, same thing. Baker Mayfield, Mason, his receivers are bailing him out. Not on this play, though. And that's why... I think people look at the arm talent more than the accuracy, and that's a mistake. And Mason Rudolph, he's in the pocket here. He's got a four-receiver set. Rudolph, nice throw here. And receiver has to bail Mason out because he underthrew it. Remarkable job by James Washington. Mason Rudolph in the end zone here, pressured. What a deflection by Jordan Thomas. That was an incredible deflection by Thomas. He's thinking Washington will bail him out again here. Thomas anticipates that. What a play. And what poor trajectory by Mason Rudolph. What poor decision making. I said on that last throw, poor decision making by Mason. Excellent job by Jordan Thomas here. 
even more poor decision making by Mason Rudolph as the offensive tackles actually did a good job here on this play, but the left guard missed his assignment. The two offensive tackles actually held their own, and Cochran even made the tackle after Ogbo Nino Karanquo intercepted Mason Rudolph, but just poor decision making by Mason Rudolph here in this situation. We've seen it time and time again. So, Mason Rudolph trying to try to redeem himself here. He, he just gets flustered and Washington has to bail him out again. Rudolph. His feet. Nice job high pointing this. Ooh, Washington dropped that. Mason actually made a good throw here. Washington just dropped that. And he, he dropped everything that came his way at Oklahoma State's Pro Day. And that's why I moved him down to the sixth round, despite the fact that he won the Bolitnikoff Award. He gets separation. I get that, but he cannot drop balls like this if he's going to succeed at the next level. Mason Rudolph here in the pocket. Nice throw by Rudolph to his guy. Yeah, we're almost about halfway through this film session here. Mason Rudolph, though, with a nice throw. Ooh, never mind. Great deflection by Ogbonina Okoronkwo on that last play. Rudolph to one, and one does a good job. First and goal here for Mason Rudolph, and play action. Throws into coverage, and he's intercepted. Just horrible decision-making by Mason Rudolph, and we've seen it time and time again. And I don't want people saying, oh, you can't look at the Oklahoma game. No, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. Mason Rudolph just it's a nice throw I guess Mason Rudolph here in the pocket nice deep ball here ooh never mind Mason Rudolph had a lot of velocity on that last throw but the trajectory is was off and the trajectory and the accuracy are the two big issues with Mason Rudolph that he needs to clean up I mean, the footwork can be okay at times. It can also be erratic, too, but I think the footwork has gotten better. And I like how he's looking at three receivers on this progression here as the play breaks down. And he's got an open man. If he wants to throw it and try to set up a third and short, he can. But he hesitates, and it's like, that is not smart. You've got a guy wide open there. You can make that third and three, and you didn't capitalize there. And right there, Mason Rudolph getting sacked on second and six. He's got an open man. He can make it third and three. He can throw the short pass there. He's got guy open. Rudolph here. I think this is the delay of game penalty play because there was a play in this game where, yep, delay of game, and he's not in the same class as Darnold, Rosen, Baker, Lamar Jackson, or even Josh Allen. Mason Rudolph is not in that class with these QBs. Next play, third and 20. Mason Rudolph. You're hoping he'll do something here. The line gave him, the tackles gave him good protection. And not enough yards. So that sets up a fourth and short. But apparently the officials gave him the first down. Now that's a great throw by Mason Rudolph. That's probably the best throw I've seen from Mason Rudolph in this entire film session here. That actually is a fantastic throw by Mason Rudolph. So Mason Rudolph here and it's going to take the snap. Great quick throw to the receiver. Nice screen pass there. All right, this is a slow motion play here, and it looks like the official is going to cause a fumble with how close he is, with the way he's signaling. I wish the official would just get out of the way so we can let the play develop. And Mason sees the snap. He hikes the ball, and Mason Rudolph here going to sell the play action here, and... 
Just the way he plants his feet at the beginning of this play is not good. He's not really locked into a receiver as far as progressions go. He's got an open man. He can just throw it there and get that easy first down, that check down throw. And his receiver dropped it. He overthrew a simple check down throw in the short passing game. And that's an issue with Mason Rudolph is the trajectory on his throws throughout this game against Oklahoma were all off. So how is this guy better than Baker Mayfield, Romero? And Mason Rudolph, nice completion there. Here we got Mason Rudolph in the pocket. Mason Rudolph just fumbles here. I'm shaking my head over this. And he does have small hands. So, yeah, I mean, Josh Allen is the biggest hands, but also has a lot of issues as far as accuracy goes. And you see a lot more of that with Mason Rudolph than you do Josh Allen, despite what the stats say. Mason's able to get this throw off, but it is an awful throw. And... It's one of these throws that's going to result in an incomplete pass. So, horrible job by Mason Rudolph with the fumble and the incompletion. Rudolph here, third and one. A basic play here. And as this play develops, you're going to see at least one or two guys open and makes a tough throw. Mason Rudolph is a four progression guy on tape. I have not seen a single throw where he's made more than three looks before throwing it. I see one, two, three on this play, and then I see him looking at a guy that is not even on the progression radar, and he bails Mason Rudolph out. Maybe he didn't bail Mason out. Maybe that was an incompletion. Okay, he bailed Mason out there. Great job by the receiver bailing Mason out. That was a good throw by Mason, but that was also shitty coverage by number 11. So, Mason Rudolph has made two good throws, yet a lot of the touchdowns Mason's thrown are plays where Oklahoma State's receivers are bailing Mason out. You could say for a vast majority of throws, that's the case with Mason Rudolph. And here, you've got this really long play still developing here. The communication, the leadership by Rudolph here, and as this play develops, you're going to see footwork here. Footwork looked good on both touchdowns. One, two, three, four, five-step throws. Mason Rudolph's five-step throws, you'll notice a lot of his deep balls that result in 40-yard gains are due to five-step throws. So if you can keep Mason from five-step drops, then you can take away a vast part of his game. And again, he's pressured, trajectory is off, bad decision by Mason Rudolph. And there was just a bad decision by Mason Rudolph on this play. There's really no other way to put it. Alright, so here we got a quick play. Nice job by eight. Marcel Aitman running a good sluggo route or a slant route, whatever you want to call it, but that was just a great route by Aitman. And his route running's better than I gave him credit for, Marcel Aitman. So here you got Mason Rudolph waiting for this play to develop. Center finally hikes in the ball. And you're going to see. Not a lot of footwork. One step. His feet are placed properly, but he's really only looking at one target on this play. And it's pretty obvious who he's looking at, but... Oh, he overthrew it. I thought he had 
So once again, bad accuracy trajectory on these throws is off. And it's not just off, it's way off. So awful job by Mason. Mason Rudolph sacked on this play. Ogbonina Okoronkwo beats Zachary Crabtree off the edge and gets a great sack on Mason Rudolph here. All right, so Mason Rudolph, as this play develops, it's a third and ten situation here. And pump fakes. The line's giving him time in the pocket here. And he's really only looking at one progression then he finally taps the football, makes a throw, and he threw into triple coverage there, which was just awful decision-making. There's five players near that receiver. There's five white jerseys near that receiver, and that's the receiver you choose to throw to. When there are five white jerseys near one receiver, that is a no-no. Like... You look at how this play developed, and you'll see Mason Rudolph just really struggle. I know it's in slow motion, but super slow motion, I might add. But the line gives him time here. He had other options. He didn't have to throw it. So he had that guy open. He had another player open, but he decides to throw it to that guy and... Oh, he let the ball slip through his hands. That's not really as much on Mason as much as it is on the wide receiver because the wide receiver lets it slip through his hands, and that's what leads to the turnover. That Mason made the right read there. Just the receiver let the ball slip through his hands. Chris Lacey, and Chris Lacey's drop, or Chris Lacey letting the ball slip through his hands led to the turnover for Mason Rudolph. And there, Lacey makes up with a nice completion. Third and eight here. Another opportunity for Oklahoma State to get a third down conversion. And Mason Rudolph, on this third and eight, he's going to let the play develop. And he's going to begin to hike the ball. There you see a play that probably should have been intercepted, but wasn't, and a horrible decision by Mason Rudolph. Again, this decision making is going to get Mason Rudolph killed in the NFL. It's going to get him benched. It's going to cause his career to be short. But Mason Rudolph fourth down here, and overthrew owes it on fourth down. So Rudolph, quick play. And nice, no, it's not a nice throw. You thought it was a nice throw, and then you saw the trajectory being off at the end on that play. And really disappointing stuff there by Mason Rudolph once again. Now you're going to see this play begin to develop, and Mason Rudolph, you see pressure coming his way. Mason Rudolph, he's not really looking at any targets left. He's trying to get his feet set properly. And now he sees one, two, three. He's looking at all the progressions here and breaking them down with his time in the pocket. That guy's open. Pull the trigger. You get. You can get a first down just by throwing to that guy. But the fact that Mason took that long, I know he wanted to, because nobody was covering him. Nobody was covering that receiver, so Mason took a little bit longer to make sure his receiver would get more yards. But if he had waited a little bit, who knows, but I guess that was a good decision by Mason to wait a little bit there, but okay, well, we'll give Mason some credit there. Next play, we've got Oklahoma State. They're going to hike it. Rudolph with a bullet over through that, but here you're hoping for a better result at least.
play still developing here, but it is a big play. I can't remember if it was a big play for Oklahoma or a big play for Oklahoma State when I edited this, but it was a big play. You see Mason going 1, 2, 3, looking at some of the progressions here. It looks like he's going to finally make that fourth progression for the first time in this game. And he's able to evade the pocket. Yes, he does make that fourth progression. But you see Mason pump tapping the football a lot. And then he decides to throw it deep. And you can already tell the trajectory is off just by how he released the football. How he how the ball is still traveling in the air. You can already tell it looks like it could be a turnover here. And yes, it is. That is a turnover Number six intercepts Mason Rudolph because the trajectory on the release of that ball was just awful. And that's really the big issue with Mason Rudolph is the trajectory. So, again, another horrible decision by Mason Rudolph. All right, so Mason Rudolph here. Really... Just looks nervous, flustered, and hoping to bounce back on this play. And Mason Rudolph, 0-3 versus Baker Mayfield in his career. Just felt like pouring it out because some writers at Draftytopia that shall remain nameless have Mason Rudolph ahead of Baker Mayfield in their rankings. We know who this individual is, and it's really just a troll job, a, a hot take at this point, to say this guy is better than Baker. Baker won the Heisman for a reason, beat Mason Rudolph th three times for a reason, and Mason Rudolph is going to throw this pass here. And play still developing here. It's hard to tell. I believe this was an incompletion, though. It looked like an interception, actually, but the, the ball was out of bounds. But had he caught that in bounds, that would have been a fourth or fifth interception. So, yeah. And here, Mason Rudolph's going to fire it deep. Is that a touchdown or no? You tell me. All right. When I did my Mason Rudolph SWAT report at the beginning of the year, I saw a four-progression quarterback at best. I only saw three progressions in this tape. And to make matters worse, Mason Rudolph still has accuracy issues, still has issues with his trajectory. He got injured during the Senior Bowl. He, he got the... He, he memorized the same play that Mariucci gave Kaiser, which isn't really that impressive, the Dino play. That's really not that impressive if you watch NFL Network and you pay attention to what Mariucci likes to call that. It's a basic play. Baker was working Mariucci like a car salesman, so clearly Mason's not in the same class of quarterbacks as Darnold Rosen, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, and... Baker Mayfield, he's not in that class of top-tier quarterbacks. I don't think he's even as good as Logan Woodside or Kyle Lauletta, although I do have the Pittsburgh Steelers drafting Mason Rudolph at 92 in the third round of my 2018 NFL mock draft. The Utopia of Sports.